<laughs> Big Meat 63, man. Go ahead and subscribe. Got, uh, got Tyrese. This is Tyrese. What's up? Tyrese, what's your channel? Uh, 700 R Rap to Life. Go check it out. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. All that good stuff. I definitely appreciate it. Big shout out to Michael Sabo. Hey, much love. Tyrese won top quad. Top quad two. <laughs> top quad two. We're going to go look at his quad in a minute here. Come out of him. You can stay there and get, you can get yeah. some video and pictures. We're at the Badlands Bash. Oh, there he is. No, I'm not. Uh, Pete's okay, he's not here. I'm that guy's not here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> he's like, I'll come back. I'll I come back. Be famous. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Yes, everybody. we're here. It's Friday. <laughs> everybody knows Pete Hager. We're just gonna do a little walk around here. Well, if you want, I, mean, I don't know if you want to be. Part I'm not of this gonna or not. come with you. You gotta interview everybody else. Okay. Well, I'm, I mostly want to check out the the quads. Some guys just so. drove by and they were like, the tri Z, the tri Z. Yeah, yeah, we've got we've got a pretty big spread. I'll I'll put it around here. People have been rubbernecking. Yeah, for sure. Well, in the front, I feel like it's a little bit more impressive. And uh, there's just cool machines here, man. Uh, we got brought the Tri-Z out. Uh, Power Sports Nation brought it with them. It's a little dusty. We've had a lot of dust here. And just from people passing by, you can see there's like a layer. Oh, wow. There's like, it's actually gotten worse. But there's, there's just dust on everything. Got the KTM over here. I thought it would be cool to have the project that we're starting. And then right next to it is the Z400. And then next to that, I've got the old frame and the old plastics that were unsalvageable so that people could really kind of grasp, you know, what it came from. But I've had a lot of people stopping by checking that out. This is uh, Ian's 450R. I think this was like his first real ride on it. Ian is uh, Square One Speed. There's his, uh, there's his logo right there. But he actually seriously races and uh, really, really nice 450R. I don't know everything that's done to it, but I know the suspension is like really special on it. It looks like it's got an aftermarket frame. I see gussets and stuff. There's real nice LSR A arms. Really, really nice bike. He was ripping it around today. And uh, he said the suspension was like super plush. You should have seen it though before we went out. I mean, it's still really clean, but it was basically a fresh build. Really nice. There's a little bit of like metal flake. Is that? Yeah, there's a little bit of metal flake in the, uh, the graphics there. The four work seat. Really nice machine. I think this is Jesse's 450R. He sunk this in the water pretty much immediately. But it actually, it's been running pretty good. And I think this is Jesse's YFZ. You guys have probably seen that on the Brewer Off-Road channel. Got another YFZ here. This is the Jackson Off-Road YFZ 450, right? I think. You got Jackson Off-Road. What's your YouTube channel, dude? Jackson Off-Road. Jackson Off-Road, you gotta subscribe. Appreciate it. But uh, more YFZs, this is a brand new one. It's not bad. You talk, you talk about Literally purchased on the way. Not by me, but uh, brand new machine. Right off the showroom floor, brought it out here, and as you can see, he's been riding it. I think this is uh, Square One Speed bought that. Can't beat a stock YFZ though, man, they're great. Got a 400 EX. It's one of those bullhorn bumpers, man. That's a classic look right there. <laughs> this is yours. Oh, man. So we got a subscriber here that's also got a YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? Justin Carl Films. What did you, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't seen the, the video, but I know. do you have this 400DX on there? Yeah. On my videos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've go, been man. doing it a year this week. Okay. Um, the videos that you put out, your KFX versus the 416 is why I went with this one. You inspired an awesome, my channel. That was an awesome series. I had a, I ripped my ACL from the bone on my KX100 Super Mini that I called the Noisy Cricket. Uh huh. And I like uh, so I laid up in my my house, Ben's watching, traded my <laughs> dirt bike for this. Seriously, so uh, you inspired my channel. I'm like, oh, you know what? He made you made it look fun. It was, dude, the 400DX is a super fun quad, and that was a super fun series, so, uh, dude. That was a wheelie machine. So I remember that one, yeah. I had the bottom end rebuilt by Chris Grissom. He's an instructor at the college in Paris, Tennessee. It's a light and flywheel, new oil pump, Vertex connecting rod, 10 to 1 Wiseco. I'm going to step back here. here You're open. fine. I used your discount <laughs> for the cylinder and the head. <laughs> I, know, I know where that came from, man. <laughs> And it's stage two hot coming, of course. It's got a 162 main. I even, uh, you helped me out in your comments because uh, you put a 165 in yours. 
And I'm like, you know what? I got the stock header and the let's pipe with the quiet core in it. I'm gonna try out the 162 with the 42 uh, pilot. And it it made all the difference in the world. I it, I would like to say, I could be wrong, but I like to say my ass dyno, 36 horsepower, I'd like to say. <laughs> <laughs> new uh, Tusk rear axle. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a brand new carrier in it. Only bummer is I do have a Chinese master cylinder and I think there's an air bubble in it. I can't have rear brakes for this for nothing. <laughs> but I did upgrade the YFZ calibers up front. Okay. It's still got a ways to go. Yeah. It's still got a ways to go. I need, I'm, look at the let's pipe right there. I'm bottoming out. The caliber's hitting the pipe. I think it's sprung for a 140 pound rider, maybe 180. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got the stop front shots on it. You got to change them out, dude. Oh, it's right. only money. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm too afraid to get the eBay ones that I'm going to get them and they're going to be blown out. Predator ones. Is that the one you mean? Predators? Yeah. I think there's a brand. The, the, well, the OEM, the used 400, 450R. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm always worried I'm going to get them. They're, one's going to be blown out. And But the Predator ones, I rode a Matt Garage MC's 426. That's really weird. They're right, you were just there, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. We and I was surprised how good those shocks were. I was too, because yeah. I went. I actually drove up. He gave my son the two hundred Ets. We just got done talking about this. Yeah, yeah. Because I was with him like two weeks ago. Maybe we went riding. Uh -huh. Yeah, I couldn't believe we rode. And I mean, if you rode out there, it's nothing but whoops. So you're telling me when I first hit him on that four twenty six, I'm like, this is fun. About 30 seconds later, game over, man. <laughs> like, it is. Never ending whoops. Anybody who rides in Jersey knows. It's and I rode his LT 250R2. Oh, Matt, you should have never got rid of that. Yeah, he's going to see that again, too. He almost came out here. He was going to come out. I know. Yeah, he had a. Um, he just bought a Quadzilla 500. And I was going to bring the Quadzilla out, and then he was going to possibly fly out. But it just didn't happen, so. I know. He but, told me. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> He's got a good video. If you guys are, if you guys like looking at quads and stuff, he just went to Binkies. If you don't know what Binkies is, it's basically like it is a museum of quads, trikes, and there's some dirt bikes and stuff in there. But it's just like really, really cool. Then uh, moving down the line here, I don't know if, the, are the, if these are. Did you do custom graphics? No. Well, this is this is an O this is an O eight graphics kit from the graphics producer, like the... Oh, so this is what you were talking about earlier? Yeah, yeah, this okay. is an 08 kit. I just had them change the color and do green instead of red and black. Okay. I just wanted to, I wanted to stand out a little bit. Uh, a little bit. I haven't seen a green Raptor ever, so... But yeah, I was, I was gonna say, um, it's almost like a mint. Yeah. I, but I, I don't recall seeing that, and that's why I was like, uh, is that? And then I saw the graphics producer down there, and yeah. then I was remembered talking about it earlier, so yeah. Yeah. But, uh... You guys have a YouTube channel too, right? You, yeah, and, you and Will? We the bros. So tell me a little bit about this thing, dude. So it's a uh, 06 Raptor, first model year. Um, I rebuilt it not really from the ground up. We bought it running, but it was pretty much blown up. It had a bent rod and everything. It was still running when we got it, but we tore it down. Um, we put a 2015 plus top end on it. It's still an 06 bottom end. Um, so everything's the same on the bottom end, transmission wise and everything. Um, pretty much stock other than that. Um, it's got the Yoshi pipe on it. Um, obviously I did the, the 08 special edition graphics. Um, what else I did? Oversized radiators, seat cover, um, oversized fan, the, what else did I do on it? Uh, the, the new lights from, uh, Resto Quad. Um, oh yeah, those are pretty sweet, dude. That's pretty much it other than just the random small touches like the DRW stuff and um, the Nerf bars. Yeah, these look really good though, dude. Thank you, I appreciate it. The 06, oh, man, first year for the 700. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't see the, the older ones anymore. I just, I like the, the older style a little better than, than the newer ones. It's just, it's different. Blue Crew, where'd you get that from, dude? I actually got that at a, a GNCC race. They really? were giving out sticker packs, and I'm like, I didn't have the factory Yamaha sticker, so I'm like, <laughs> certified, certified tree hugger. That's it right there, though, man. We yep. the bros, got the bros. Yep, that's our that's our channel. We got a sticker down there too. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's mine, and then uh, Will's bike or the other 
other person on the channel is over over there. He's we'll check that we'll go straight through that. So this is Will's quad. Yeah. Will is half of the Wheeler Wheeler Bros. It's it's a something. I, I when I bought it stock, I mean I had a bunch of graphics on it, but just slowly over time as we went places and they slowly washed off. So I just I want to end up doing stuff like that where I can put some put some of my own stickers on it, which is why I got the the big sticker on it this go around. But I mean. It's just one thing after another. I'm just trying to get it to where it works out properly. <laughs> Andrew's like, the old sticker fell off. So yeah. he's like, we just put this one on yeah. there. Yeah, we, uh, I have my original rectangle one on the bottom, like underneath the skid plate. And, you know, every time I hit a rock, it's just a gouge straight through it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's my favorite part so far. Um, there's really nothing too special about it. I mean, I have an aftermarket bumper. It's like not a brand name one, though. This one? Um, no, the rear, but the front one. I was gonna one, say, that looks like an HMF or something. Yeah, that's my bully bumper. I got that one from, uh, I think, Pro Armor? Or... Oh, okay, Pro Armor. Yeah, I, I really like the style of that. Just because, I mean, it's an aggressive plastic. I figured something rounded would look good. Yeah, it's got like a good angle and all. Yeah, it's I'm good. I'm big on grab bars, man. Like, if you get a, well, like a whack grab right. bar, it's like you're stuck. It's like, why did I, why is this even on here? Well, I also tend to be the one that gets stuck the most, so I figured <laughs> something with rings on it on both the front and the rear, you could heave hoe it out of a hole in a, in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the other thing I saw was the XFR pegs. What do you think of these? Oh, I, I love them. Um, th this was one of my first big investments to the bike itself, um, other, other than obviously the full intake. Um, and just the way the way they sit, I like to put my feet to the side, and I can uh, I can adjust my uh, riding style. I just got into like my own type of style. Uh, I, I keep I keep seeing people like say certain things about they like this style of riding, they like this style of riding. So I just got comfortable with like pinching the gas tank and stuff like that. So it's easy for me being so tall just to like put my feet towards the side, pinch the gas tank, and just roll with it. Um, plus, this is a big, beefy machine, too. If you don't try and manhandle it at least a little bit, it's going to throw you. <laughs> so, I've had that happen a few times. If, um, other than that, I mean, I've done DRW stuff to it to make sure it didn't have a rock go through the engine and through the bottom. I got yes, DWT got wheels, uh, GBC tires, and then uh, flex handlebars. And then whose 250R is this? That's mine. Is that yours? Yeah. Oh, we got a... I don't think I've met you yet, dude. Um, I am Jacob or Raptor Ruckus on Instagram. Okay. I'm trying to say a Raptor though, bro. That's my Raptor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is sweet though, dude. Nothing against the Raptor, but like when I see a 250R like this, this looks really nice, dude. I see the Paul Turner pipe. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, picked it up last year. It's a 1988. Um, it was in pretty rough shape, had a lot of rust and corrosion on the frame. So I took it all the way down to the frame and had it powder coated by some local guys. It's Honda Passion Red with some gold flake in the clear coat. Came out really nice. Um, those are work shocks, uh, definitely appropriate for the era. The I had looks perfect on the build, dude. Yeah, the red, white, and blue is perfect. I had the one and only Rocket Ron uh, refurbish and rebuild my shocks. And he also did my stock rear shock as well. Uh, Rocket Ron did amazing work, and um, he's got dialed in. Uh, we've been sitting this off of some pretty big jumps, and it's just so plush. It handles so good. Uh, but I love the 250R. It's a great machine. It handles so good, and it's a ton of fun. Did you do anything to the engine? Engine's pretty much stock. Uh, stock bore, stock crank. Um, uh, really, the only modifications is the Paul Turner racing pipe, as well as just a uni uh, foamy air filter. But pretty much stock. And uh, I have to say, Mike, it was your uh, 250R series that really gave me some inspiration to buy my own 250R and do like a mini restoration on it. <laughs> I definitely um, reference a lot of your videos and just make sure I'm putting things back together right. And I love your organization is top notch. And uh, that, that's inspired me to, uh, you know, rebuild a machine and have fun with it. It's a blast. I really enjoy it. Yeah, thank you, dude. I wasn't expecting that. People are going to be like, oh, you paid that guy. No. <laughs> say that. <laughs> yeah, dude, it really is nice. Did you? Appreciate it. Are those powder-coated wheels? No. So I was lucky. I found that set off of eBay, believe it or not. And I think it was only like 250 bucks. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, yeah. They're really nice, actually. They're dusty right now. Yeah, but with the dust, it, it looked, uh, yeah, now I can see that's, yeah, they're very nice. Yeah. Um, DWT wheels. Be it in the USA, I would say. I think it fits the quad perfectly. It's definitely um, that 1980s era. 
And uh, yeah, yeah I, I love the look. Like an 86. I mean, until you get close, like you see the metal flake in the frame and stuff. Right. But I love stuff like that, like the little subtle things. Yeah, yeah. I would say so OEM like plus. Original. Yeah, it still has the original plate with the warning things you should not do. <laughs> Always important, right? Probably says 20 to 1 right here. Yeah, 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 yeah which is ridiculous. Uh, I would never do that, but <laughs> <laughs> I would have a trail of smoke behind me. Back in the day, though, the oils weren't the way they are now. Like, yeah, you right. can really get away with going much thinner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it's an awesome machine. I really enjoy it and uh, plan on hanging on to it for a while. Yeah, you should, dude. Yeah, it's for beautiful. sure. Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, man, um, for sure. Thanks. And then, um, yeah, that's my Raptor. Is there anything special with this? Yeah. So uh, some floats, A-arms. Yeah, we got some dual exhaust in the back. We have an Elka Stage 3 in the rear. We got the Fox floats in the front. Handles really good. Uh, aftermarket wide axle is like a plus 4 or a plus 5. Um, Engine-wise, so it's got the CP high compression piston, 11 to 1, uh, Stage 3 hot cam. Had the head ported by Corvo Racing. Uh, he did uh, really good work uh, with my head porting. Um, throttle bodies bo uh, bored out. It's got the Power Commander 3 on it as well. And uh, yeah, runs great. Awesome machine. Did you oh. do any specific package from Cuervo? I know they have like their 60 horsepower package, 65. They have like, you know, they're kind of like their base yeah. packages, the bolt-on packages. Yeah, it was pretty much their base package. They call it like their trail porting, I would say. Um, so th I definitely noticed a difference, no doubt. But I'm still running stock valves, uh, pretty much stock size valves and you all that. You could into that if you ever wanted to do more Yeah, power. yeah, yeah. Is this, I mean, is this backwards? Uh, I don't know. It could be. I think it's uh, supposed to go the other way. That's a great point. Uh, it is a plus two. Uh, but yeah, when I bought the quad, it actually came with that steering system. So. I mean, it's possible that it could work either way. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just one way is going to be more forward than the other. Yeah. I, I think it's designed to go the other way. No kidding. I'll have to check into that yeah. and flip it around. Your most throttle, the levers and everything up here. Yeah. What's your all right, opinion? I mean, I'm assuming you like the flex bars. I do. I'm a, I'm an anti-flex guy. Okay. Okay. But I'm uh, but you know what, man? To each their own. So right. Just, you know, I, I do like the flex bars, and the reason why is because you can switch out the dampening with these little dampeners. Yeah. Um, so you can really get a dialed in to exactly what you're looking to do. Um, they have a lot of different stiffness when it comes to these dampeners. So a lot of adjustability, which is nice. Um, these are pricey bars, but um, they have been just uh, a, a lifesaver for me because most of the time I'm on choppy sand and uh, it saves my arms. But I know your Mosi just came out with some 720 clamps and those look amazing as well. Yeah, the, the one thing that I like about them is like the bars stay linear. That's the right. only thing that I always felt, because I've ridden these, and you know like they come down. Yes. But if you, a lot of people like them though. I was just curious. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been running these for a few years now and I'm definitely sold. They've been great. I'm sure there's other great products on the market, but um, you know, Flex Man, has been great. Broke, don't fix it. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks again, dude. Yeah, of course. Thanks, Mike. Then there is, I think this is a 400EX. Yes, it is. Some ground busters on there. I've yet to try these. But I hear they're awesome. Really nice Hauser is a Pro Balance. Gotta love 400 EXs, man. And back here, I guess this is a what is this, 700 Grizzly. Uh, I don't see a CC size. Nice Grizzly though. Max's tires. I don't know if they come stock with those or not. Then uh, another Raptor 700. That's just my thing. I'm like, I don't know what about this. 450R. That's uh, yeah. So you're like appetite. That's pretty cool. Really nice 400EX. What kind of tires these are? Trackstar. Oh, ITPs. I haven't seen this pattern yet. Jet suspension, it looks like. 400 EXs are just so much fun to ride, man. Looks like it's probably like an 05, maybe. 05, 06, 05. First year for the 
I forget what they called this. The other ones they called the bug eye with the two little lights up front. A lot of people, they were upset. <laughs> they didn't like this design. Kind of uh, mimicked the 450R, and I think they added reverse. Got the classic yellow color, and then everybody knows this quad, man. Pete Hager Raptor 700. I don't know if he's got anything new on here. This I don't recall seeing the last time I saw Pete, that little LS4 exhaust guard. He's got the uh, the resto mod, custom headlights, and I think he has like a turn signal kit on here. Pete's quad is really nice though. He's got the precision stabilizer in there, the Hauser A arms. It's just set up really, really nice. The Rocket Ron suspension. He did put a new grab bar on today though. He said a subscriber sent him <laughs> that. That came from a subscriber. It was pissed that Pete didn't have the uh, fender brackets, so his fenders were flopping around, and the dude was getting upset. So Pete fixed it today. <laughs> it's always a good time riding with Pete. Then we got Raptor Life right here. This is Tyrese's. Loudest quad here. He said he got an even louder pipe on the way. Tyrese, come here. I don't know about it. <laughs> Tell us about the Raptor, dude. You said you're going to update the exhaust? Yeah. Um, Monster Exhaust, the standard uh, version. It's not the shorty. It's yeah. super loud. Yeah, baby. but the shorty is a whole lot louder than the standard. <laughs> Why does it need to be louder? Dude? No, I don't, I don't. I'm not gonna make it no louder. That's it. That's it. I thought about it, but you know, that's it for me. <laughs> you know, which is is cool the way it is. You know. Is there anything else different on this than the last time I saw it? No, no. It's all the same. yeah, it's all the same. Except for the um. The headlights, I changed those over. It's like everybody's got them now. Yeah. Does that have like the turn signals and stuff in it? Yeah. Turn signals. Those are really cool. You got the LEDs up here too. Yeah. Nice, cool um, pods on there. I had to re uh, direct these right here, you know, because they was coming down and it was hitting. So you could tell I went ahead and fixed that. You got them wired but, in with the headlights and stuff? Right. But I know it's on a it's on a separate switch, and I put new brackets on it. I once had them up here, but I put new brackets, so you know it's a whole lot better. Yeah, it's nice you got them set back like that, so that you know, like a tree or something. Right. The light will be okay at least. Right. Still got to get Rocket Ron to do my shocks, but you know, <laughs> other than that, everything's still the same. I'm gonna go with the Hauser um, Nerf bars once. Oh, the Pro Balance. Yeah, the Pro yeah, Balance yeah. once they hit, I'm gonna go ahead and switch those out. But other than that, that's all I'm gonna do. And you got the flex bars too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flex bars, they, they work pretty good, man, my personal opinion. You yeah. know. It's a preference. It, that's all it is. Yeah. That's all it is, a preference thing, you know. I give, you know, the the other ones a good shout out also, the one that um Your Mosi's? Yeah, your Mosi got. So yeah. Mosi, Precision. Yeah. All of them. All of them good. It's just a preference. Yeah. It's just what you like. You know, because if you look at Pete's, you know, yeah, they they pretty good. They work pretty good. The SBC 720s. Heard good things about those. Heard good things about the Flex. <laughs> you know, Precision, <laughs> everything. You know, so hey, your skid plate's pretty sick too, though. Yeah, that's a uh, Glen Innovation skid plate. It's like a little bit lower profile than the DRW. Yeah, yeah. It works pretty good. It does its job, you know. But I just like that it's blue, too. Yeah, yeah. Like with That's the theme of the thing. quad, it looks really nice. Same, the same one Pete got. Oh, I didn't realize that. You know, yeah. Once he was, you His know. He really was, blends in, you know what yeah. I mean? Because the frame's red. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, you got, we got we to gotta get you on the microphone, dude. <laughs> this guy, he's, he's been complaining the What's whole it? time. What's that? This guy's been, he's been complaining. He lives all the way over in Arizona, oh, so yeah. he wants to come over here and ride. It's hot as hell over there. Yeah, he came from New York. Anyone yeah. ought to, just, just, just leaving us behind. Hey, well, pretty soon the guy's taking Ian from me, so I'll be out there all by myself on the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Odyssey Off-Road is your channel, right? Yep. And uh, you've got two quads out here. Yeah. We've got the Raptor and the Scrambler. The yep. Scrambler is retarded fun. I haven't ridden his. But last year we had one of these out here, the same one. Pete, Pete had brought it out, and dude, it's it's insane. It's like uh, it's like pretty much riding on your uh, living room couch. You can it eats up any terrain, landing. It's it's the, insane. I don't think I've ever bottomed out that suspension. And the, like the confidence that you get riding yeah. them, you, you uh, I felt like I could take on anything. So here. I have a Renegade 1000 at home also. And uh, you, that thing, you can't really slide it around corners the way you can. With this thing, 
go sideways, jumps, anything you want to do with it, it'll do it. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, man. And then, like, if you were to take the Raptor out, which one would you say is probably your favorite to ride? My favorite to ride is still the Raptor for fun. The Scrambler's a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but the Scrambler is what I kind of take out if I want to do more rocky, crazy, run it out terrain yeah. with, with adventure riding. If I want to just go out and have a good time uh, and rip it up, I take the Raptor. This thing is just so big, dude. Yeah, it's gigantic, and I mean the Raptors are big. And if you look at it parked next to the Raptor, I know, dude. The I'm, I, like, I'm looking at my viewfinder right now, and you can really see it's like literally twice the size of the Raptor. <laughs> yeah, man, those things are crazy. Super fun, though. What's up, buddy? Where's Jacob? Where's Jacob? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We all know that the star of the show yeah, from Brewer yeah. Off-Road is Jesse. That's right. Yeah. Jesse, winner of Top Quad 3, 4? I mean, I was on the winning machine. I don't Lacuter. know if that really counts. The Lacuter. I win style points, I think, and charisma. Basically everything. Yeah. yeah. The audience knows as well. Yeah. I was telling them about your 450R. Yeah. Which one? Your Honda. The real oh, 450R. Oh, the, the real 450R. Yeah. And how you sunk it. No. <laughs> That was fun. But what's funny is, actually, there wasn't water in the airbox. Well, there no. was, but, but not enough. To the make ignition was off after everybody. After took a, a five-minute kick it. circle, yeah, 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 yeah five-minute kick circle. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That actually happened though. Yeah, it was, but it worked. We learned something. Yeah. You have to turn the key on to kick it. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got lucky. I was just about to shut yeah. down, and Square One Speed himself stepped up. I said, dude, you got to tell me about this 450R. I just showed up out of the blue. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. He was I getting beer. Nowhere. If we're being honest, he was getting beer. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I did. I was on a beer run. <laughs> so, dude, I, like, I'm just going to let you talk here because... Obviously, there's some serious stuff like Jesse was saying it's got LTR geometry and stuff. And yeah. Like, I guess just like take it away, man, because this is definitely a special quad. Well, I'll just go from where it started. It started as a frame I picked up off a of buddy for like a hundred bucks. And then it sat in my garage for like three years until I finally got started on it. But basically, I was able to locate like a used 2007 TRX engine. So it was a kicker only engine. And that's kind of the whole basis of the thing was to build a completely stripped down, lightweight, minimalistic. MX quad so that's kind of where the base started with the engine and the frame and then from there I just kind of went wild with like titanium parts all over it so we started with Lone Star front end so it's their DC Pro with like the DC Pro spindles and your high misaligned steering kit I think they call it the high misaligned um, steering conversion the DC Pro spindles are supposed to mimic like LTR spindles so all the steering is supposed to be the same as like an LTR front end and then went with the stock swing arm it's the Excalibur axle from Lone Star. It's pretty lightweight. I think it's actually a little bit lighter than your Dominator axle, which I was running on something else. And then went with their DC6 linkage. Everything, again, was all set for MX, so I went with the DC6 link so I could hook up that uh, PEP, which I also got used from somebody and had rebuilt for myself. And then tossed it in there. And the front shocks are actually custom access, also set up for MX style racing. And you actually raced this, right? Yeah, this one I actually raced. So this one I haven't raced in particular, but I could, as you see it right now, basically throw the works tires on it and go to a works race and go race it. It would probably be a little stiff for that, but that's kind of the whole point of it is to just race it wherever. Hopefully it's MX style racing. Then after that, I went nuts with the color scheme on it. As you can see, there's a lot of purple in there. Yeah, I saw like the little metal flake sparkle in there and stuff. And yeah. The cool thing is, I used to be into street bikes. So my first bike ever was actually a Honda CBR900RR, the old fire blades. Oh, yeah. So the old carburetor bikes. And that was like the first bike I ever bought, which was stupid for a first bike. But we'll get to that some other time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But I always thought, like, why did Honda never take their bike graphics and put them on their ATVs? So that's what I did. I just basically hit up Sam at Dirt Fiend, and he went nuts replicating those CBR graphics, the old uh, purple, yellow, and silver, and black, and plastered all over a Honda TRX, basically cut. So it came out looking almost exactly like the old CBR um, graphics. It'd be sick to have one of those next to it. Wouldn't it? I wish I still had mine. I ended up selling it like an idiot, but you want me to go deep into the engine? Because I can get real into the weeds on that one. 
Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's, I can make it quick. So, <laughs> I guess we're going <laughs> right? I know. Uh, it was a stock bottom end. I blew the thing apart so I could replace all the bearings, and then from there started adding all the cool stuff like a full Henson billet proof. And then when I went up to the crank, I had Crankworks rebuild a stock crank, but then just had them polish it. Fast. What's that? You don't have to talk fast. I can tell you're ramping it up. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, but blew the thing apart, got the crank polished, put it in, and then it was actually a recommendation from Jeff at Oregon Coast. Try a JE piston. Kept it underneath 13 to 1 so I don't have to run race gas anymore. So I can run 93 in it. So it's a 12.8 ported head by him, board carved by him, and then it's got a nice webcam sitting on top of it. And then the Rossier exhaust kind of finishes off. It's like all the best stuff. It kind of is, yeah. Some of it's borrowed from other machines I had, though, so I didn't have to go buy new everywhere, which was nice. Just refurbish. Yeah, it's super awesome, dude. Done right. Oh, thanks. It looked thanks. like it was ripping today, too. Oh, man. If you could have been behind this, at least when Jesse was on it. I was there. Were you there when he took it out? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were sitting right there. You were watching the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> this thing was a lot of fun today. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of itching to ride it, even though I got the YFZ. I had to get back on this. Yeah, yeah. I was showing the uh, that, this that that new YFZ we were looking at earlier. This is uh, just on the way. Picked yes, it up. the dark blue. I picked it up on the way just after right I picked on. up Joe. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh, we forgot food for the trip. We'll stop at the grocery store. We forgot a quad for the trip. Oh, we'll just stop at the dealer. Yeah, we'll just pick it up. Yeah, <laughs> charge it. Well, thanks, dude. Yeah. Appreciate no it, problem. I guess Let so. me do this. Pound. All right, left hand I don't, shake. I don't like that. And it's square one speed. If anybody's wondering. Nice talking to you. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna get back to it. There's a ton of people here. We get some uh, some great conversations in. If anybody is out here, probably won't see this video until after the Badlands Bash. But if I did get to meet you, it was awesome meeting you. And uh, if I didn't, probably be out here next year too. It's an awesome event. And uh, yeah, guys. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. Peace out.